So we try to do animal segments when we can, and we try to highlight the heroism of people when we can, and occasionally those two topics come together. And the person we're speaking of is former Denver Bronco defensive lineman Derek Wolf. So recently, a mountain lion had been stalking and killing dogs in Colorado, in a neighborhood, killing people's dogs. So however you feel about mountain lions, you're not allowed to kill people's dogs. So Wolf didn't call the authorities, he acted. He grabbed a bow and arrow, hiked nearly 10,000 feet up a mountain in the Rockies, and then took out the mountain lion that had been killing dogs. Wolf is obviously a very talented hunter and a man of action. As we said, he's a former NFL player and sports radio host. He joins us tonight. Derek Wolf, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Yeah, thanks for so, having me, Tucker. So this, this mountain lion was killing people's dogs, and, but you didn't call fish and game. You decided to do it yourself. Tell us about the decision. I, you, you know, Tucker, before I get into the uh, specifics of the actual hunt, I want to yeah. give some background on um, the mountain lion issue here in Colorado. Um, since 1990, there's been 23 human attacks. So that means every other year there's a, a human being attacked by, by a mountain lion. Yeah. Just last year alone, in a, in a town up by Boulder, Boulder, Colorado, 15 dogs, pet dogs, were killed in 30 days. And people were calling Col Parks and Wildlife wondering, where are you at? Why aren't you coming to help us? Um, so I, I got a call from a good friend of mine. His name's Alex Nestor. This wasn't a paid hunt. I didn't pay for this hunt. It was just yep. something that I was interested in doing. I loved to hunt. And uh, he called me and said, hey, there's a cat up here. Um, you want to come help? And I said, yeah, let's go. So we get up there, and the first thing we see is a, a full-grown mule deer that he had drug across the road right across the street from somebody's house. And it was, and then uh, we followed those tracks up to his porch, and up on that porch, it was up on this woman's porch, and living underneath of her porch even. When she, and wow. when we had talked to the, the landowner, they said, hey, we have house cats, and the cats, cats are acting weird. We were wondering why. Well, it's because you have a full-grown 200-pound, eight-and-a-half-foot mountain lion walking across your front yard, and that's why. So um, in Colorado, you're allowed to use dogs to get these cats treed because it's important to see how what kind of cat you're after, right? You want to you want to go right. after um, full-grown mountain lions, full-grown male mountain lions. That's what you want because those full-grown males um, will kill kittens as well. They will kill the kittens to get the um, female lions to go back into heat. So it's important to manage that herd, right? You have to manage every population of animal out here, um, especially these mountain lions. Um, so we got the dogs on them, and it was the uh, most – I'll tell you, I've been through some tough training camps, brother, but this hunt – was, uh, man, it, it beat me up bad. I was beat up bad. I'm all cut up and scraped up. I was in full body cramps, um, barely made it up there. The cat itself, when we finally got to it, was at uh, 9,600 feet altitude. And I don't know if anybody knows anything about altitude, but you, you're sucking air up at that high. Um, was able to make a good shot, a uh, good ethical shot, and um, harvested the cat and uh, got him out of there and did everything by the book. This was completely legal. Um, CPW came down and uh, checked the cat in for me. I took the meat and got it processed. I'm going to eat that cat. Um, it's going to be, um, I can't believe what's, what's happening to me. I can't believe that going on a legal hunt, doing something legal by the book, they've, they've had 200 calls to Colorado Parks and Wildlife trying to turn me in like I did something wrong. Yeah. Um, did nothing wrong. Everything's legal. So well, what, one of the, the, the main the reason I, I, that I, I, I know you have been, and the main reason I wanted to have you on tonight was just to remind people who live in rural America, or in urban America, that like it's different when you live in a place where mountain lions kill people and pets. It's not like Brooklyn at all, and so maybe people should understand that before they run around making threats against men like you. Derek Wolf, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me, brother. Of course. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.